Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. And when you know, we talk public markets, folks, uh, bottom line, we talk about a lot of entrepreneurs. Well, I'll tell you, man, we got ourselves an entrepreneur here. Uh, you know, if you happen to ever visit St. Pete or in St. Pete, there's a project that's going on right now, folks, okay, that is absolutely incredible. It goes for blocks and blocks, and it's called the fairgrounds. And uh, they're sitting there, basically, a mantra is art for all. Play for all, joy for all. Uh, we have uh, the man, uh, Mr. M McCall, uh, McHale, sorry about that, uh, Mansion. He is the a founder and the CTO. McHale, welcome to TFNN. Hey, thanks, Tom. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. You know, I'll tell you, man, it's amazing. Well, first off, tell us exactly what the fairgrounds are all about and how you got this idea. Yeah, thanks so much. So uh, Fairground St. Pete is a uh, choose your own adventure style immersive art experience uh, created by over 60 different artists in our inaugural exhibition. Uh, you know, so it's an explorable art space, a location based experience where the public's invited to come uh, play and explore and discover. Uh, it's going to be full of uh, incredible artwork that is uh, ranging from you know traditional crafts, paint, sculpture to new media art that involves projection mapping, uh, electronics, and other types of interactive technologies. Um, now, now, yeah. where did you get this idea? You know, folks. Okay, first off, we all love art. Okay, when you see it, this is so unique, though it's pretty amazing. So, where did you get the idea, man? Well, I have to be honest, this is not my idea. Oh. I am a co-founder with uh, Liz Dimmitt, yes. who originated the idea. And uh, I've you know, supplemented as we kind of joined together, joined forces, uh, and became co-founders. Uh, nice. You know, I brought the technology focus and the experiential storytelling, uh, which is primarily my background, into the picture. Um, but she had a long-running vision for, for Fairgrounds existing uh, for probably since she was a child, in fact. Okay. And, uh, you know, and we're just executing on it. Um, we're, we're part of a, a larger campus called The Factory in the Warehouse Arts District. Yes. Uh, Fairgrounds is a, a tenant of the factory, so we're a business that's uh, separate from the factory, uh, but we're the anchor tenant, and we're going to be a big draw in the area, um, and, and you know, and we're creating jobs, and it's a really exciting time. We're, we're just about to open our doors um, in a, several weeks here. We're getting real close. Um, you know, construction has been challenging, and uh, we've been learning a lot. Uh, but we're we've got our heads down and we're just so focused and our artists are uh, just so wonderful and you know it really represents what this area is capable of doing uh, creatively. Now you know when we when we talk about the amount of jobs, it's pretty amazing what you've done. We know that artists in general. My best friend is an artist. Okay, and I'll tell you a wild story. The only thing I know how to draw, I know how to draw a horse's head. We've been together since the third grade, and even my grandkid, I, I show him how to draw a horse's head. Art is an amazing deal. Art trying to make money is a whole different deal. Talk to me about, because I know that you've hired a lot of artists, you've done a huge amount of work, you've got a huge amount of uh, people that, that basically are making money. So tell me that aspect of it. Sure. Well, um, you know, people familiar with St. Pete uh, certainly know that we have a rich creative community. It's a big draw to this area. Yes. Um, people who are maybe unfamiliar or not from around here, um, you know, come visit because it's it's a vibrant community of creators. Uh, it, it existed, you know, before fairgrounds, and and we're just capitalizing on this uh, sort of wonderful creative community. The the city is really invested in St. Petersburg being uh, a leader in the arts. And you, you can see it from uh, the plethora of different uh, innovative museums that we have, uh, r different media from you know famous glass art to uh, d the Dali. Um, you know, much kind of at our doorstep. Um, this is kind of a natural extension of that. Uh, I think what we're doing that's innovative is we're combining it with art and technology and also entrepreneurship and education. So uh, we are. Uh, hiring a lot of people and it's, it felt great quite honest because you know in the during the pandemic uh, a lot of 
folks were displaced from uh, different creative industries, and especially the entertainment industries where yes. um, live shows and events were canceled uh, right around the time we were getting um, invested. So we were able to uh, not only hire a lot of these folks who um, were, were displaced, unfortunately, by, by those circumstances, uh, it really gave us some firepower and ammunition because suddenly it freed up talent that uh, we were looking for. <laughs> so timing is everything, they say. And so talk to me a bit about the, and, and folks, you know, this is going to be up on YouTube. Uh, we, have, we have a welcome video from Liz Demet also that's going to be up there. Talk to me about the, um, you have the artist and now the technology, how these go together. What, what has changed, or maybe not changed, and going forward? Yeah, sure. Well, we, we had to pivot. Um, you know, the world really, uh, I think it surprised everyone. No one really knew what to expect as the pandemic uh, kind of set on. And we were building a lot of uh, very touchable, uh, haptic things that you could I climb see. on. Okay. And, you know, we were thinking this was going to be a uh, an, a playground of sorts in, in some sense. And we really moved away from some of those ideas just to keep the public safe. So it, it caused us to put on our thinking caps and really apply our skills. And we invented a number of ways to interact with the artwork, with these stories that we were developing, um, but through touchless means. So, you know, using sensors and electronics, uh, sometimes foot pedals, we found alternative ways to tell uh, a rich and compelling story without, you know, the sort of um, same types of conventions that we were planning on doing. And, and so uh, it, it's nice to be kind of with a creative group of people that is willing to be flexible and uh, is just so inventive. So that, that's that been part of that story. You had a true baptism by fire, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that's what an entrepreneur is all about. So, hey, let me ask you, you went, you, you grew up in St. Pete, but you you went to uh, the Rhode Re Re Island School of Design, right? You made it up to uh, Providence, Rhode Island, right? Yeah, that's right. Such a cool city up there. We love Providence. We lived there for a number of years, uh, almost 10 years up north. Oh, so you uh, had some of that good Italian food, man. I know Providence well. I've been down here 25 years, but I'm from Boston, so I used to go down there just to eat. Yeah, totally. Federal Hill. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. So, so you learned quite a bit at, at that school, I'm sure, right? Yeah, indeed. And I, I worked for a very innovative company uh, that was based in Providence, who was affiliated with, with RISD, Rhode Island School of Design, um, and was able to you know build immersive art experiences for big brands and corporations all around the world. So it's what I've been doing um, most of my career now. Uh, so, so this is kind of a natural extension to that. The only difference is, is you know, this is a, a brand new company and a startup. So, and, that, and so when are we going to open the gates? Uh, we're, we're getting Around. close. Yeah. Um, you know, we're looking at, uh, we'd like to do it in a, another month here. Okay. We're basically, uh, you know, on that path to getting our certificate of occupancy and, and uh, checking off all those boxes and just trying to get our ducks in a row. Uh, but we're getting real close. And, you know, please, our fairgrounds.art is where you can find out more. We have an insiders club where uh, you'll, you know, people who join that will be the first people to find out about um, really anything we're doing. So, well, listen, man, we appreciate you being with us. It's fairgrounds.art, folks. Okay, we'll get it out on YouTube for you. Congratulations. That's the real bottom line. You're giving a lot of jobs, a lot of hope, and you're going to do it, man. Have a great one. Have a safe Sharpening one.